Stopping our worldly today a horrific ISIS video from the Iraqi town of Mosul showing the execution of what the terrorist group calls spies. The stomach turning propaganda is so gruesome, even for ISIS, CNN has decided not to air it. We're going to show two carefully selected still images from the video. If you have children watching, you might want to mute your television for a couple minutes starting about right now. Let's get right to Chief National Security Correspondent Jim Chudo. Uh, Jim, what, what does this video show? You know, I watch the video. I don't, I don't relish doing it, but if I'm going to talk about it, I feel like i got to watch it. it. It's sick. It's their typical combination of Hollywood production quality, audio editing, multiple angles, and just gratuitous violence. Uh, it, it shows them killing what they claim to be spies in the most horrific ways imaginable. They start uh, by putting some into a car. They have them handcuffed. Well, actually, we're going to show first them putting in a cage. They have these guys in a cage. They lower them over a pool and then lower that cage into the pool, complete with underwater cameras showing them drown to death on camera. Uh, and then earlier in the video, they, they put several others into this car here. You see they're handcuffed in the car. Then they fire an RPG at it, a rocket-propelled grenade. It erupts in a ball of flames and they all die. And it, it, it's, it's sick. You can hear the screams on camera as well. And it's just part of this one-upmanship that, uh, that they've put themselves in. Each video of death has to be more gripping and gross than the, than the previous one. And also in the fight against ISIS, we're learning uh, about another American arrested and charged with uh, supporting ISIS, this time a teenager in, in North Carolina. How did police or law enforcement find him? Well, it, it's interesting. They found him because the parents called 911 in April uh, when this gentleman, he's 19-year-old Justin Sullivan, self-described Muslim convert, uh, lit, went through his house that he, that he shared with his parents, started breaking things like Buddha statues and was lighting it on fire, spreading gasoline everywhere. The panicked father calls the police, and, and he says in his call, he says, I don't know if it's ISIS or something. So clearly the parents had some sort of indication uh, that he was into this sort of stuff. So then the FBI starts tracking him, and he told an FBI undercover agent that he planned to buy an automatic weapon, kill a lot of people, uh, and in fact uh, experiment with what he called biological weapons, uh, coating bullets with cyanide, he's setting off a gas bomb. But it shows just, you know, as sick as ISIS's videos are, and it's, it's death and it's killing, etc., it can attract yeah. supporters here in the U.S. It's reaching some of the right people or the wrong people. Jim Shudo, thank you.